we're talking about is 12 ways to bring more relaxation and calmness into your home. With the lockdown going on and COVID-19, this is a very, very stressful time for everyone. Anxious levels are sky high at the moment, I'm seeing it daily. I think we all just kind of need to try and keep calm. It's like that famous quote, keep calm and carry on. Not exactly that, but I just want to try and implement more calmness into your interiors and try and just implement a more relaxing way for you to spend your day in your home because you can't really do much else at the moment. So, and I've seen people doing this already. It's like the spring clean declutter in your home. Now, a lot of people don't really know where to begin with decluttering. A lot of people hoard stuff. So my best tip to you is to get rid of anything that doesn't bring you joy. I know that can be hard and you think, well, what brings me joy? And I'm going to put a link down below is Ancetics of Joy. So it talks about bringing more joy into your life, into your home. Just try and be ruthless. So I've got a rule that if I haven't used anything up to six months, and this is including clothes, if I haven't worn it in six months, if I haven't used it in six months, it goes. That's it. So the second tip is natural light. As you can see where I am, there's quite a lot of natural light coming in through the window. I absolutely love natural light. It just makes me feel so much happier. Like, I know this can be hard if you don't have a large space or many windows in your home. So if you live in the flat with only small windows, it can be quite difficult to bring natural light in. There is a way around it. Try and fit in table lamps and floor lamps, whatever you can. This room doesn't get a lot of sunlight. It only gets sunlight in the afternoon, late afternoon. So in the winter, in the mornings when I'm working in here, it can be quite dark and depressing. So a floor lamp is brilliant. It just brings in more light to the room and it makes you feel more upbeat. So tip number three is all about colour. Now personally for me, the best way to make a relaxing and calm interior is to have neutral colour scheme throughout. Now I'm talking about whites, creams, totes and all that kind of colour spectrum and scheme. The reason being is that it's a lot, one it's a lot cleaner, two it feels a lot fresher and three you can add in colours and textures via cushions, throws, decor, books and it's a lot more versatile. This Bahamas project for example the sofa is white, it's white linen and we've injected so much colour through fuchsia pink cushions and fuchsia pink decor and vases. It might not be to everyone's taste. This is the perfect example to show you how colour can be implemented even though you're using a neutral colour palette. So my top tip, and I literally have, I implement this everywhere, is white bed linen and white towels in the bathrooms. Now, the reason being for doing this is that it transports you to thinking that, or oh, transports you, it tricks you into thinking that you're in a hotel so as soon as you walk into a hotel room hotel vibes you instantly feel relaxed and that's what you're trying to get across in your own room tip number four is natural elements when i'm talking about natural elements i mean real plants and raw materials actually taking the time even like a minute a day to look after the plants inside your home it just helps transport you just for that one minute and you're focusing on something else rather than the outside world it's also great to see the plants that you nature and care for bloom into life it feels like an accomplishment especially if you're not usually green fingered if you do have access to a garden i would strongly recommend just going out there and taking a few clippings of some plants and putting them in bud vases it's a very quick and inexpensive way to bring the outside in and it can also bring some colour into your home as well. With the raw materials, I'm talking about wooden elements and wicker, for example. These materials seem to ground us. Zara has this amazing bamboo bin currently on their website, and this would look amazing in a bathroom, paired with a bamboo bath tray. Also add in some real plants, and this will create a real calming bathroom space. Number five is texture. Now, who doesn't like to be cosy in their own home? Feeling cosy is ultimate relaxation code, basically. For example, if you get up in the morning and you step onto a cold, tiled floor, it can wake you up quite harshly and it can actually have an impact on how you act for the rest of the day. If you was to get up and your feet was to touch a fluffy bug or a high pile carpet, you'd literally feel like you're walking on cloud nine. It comes back to our sensory systems and when we were younger we would always like to be cuddled and feel safe and secure. It's why 
throwing a throw a fluffy throw around you when you're feeling a bit upset or down it feels like a big warm fluffy hug and who doesn't feel better after a hug tip number six is personal photos i'm quite a lover of this one and i try and put personal photos wherever i can now the best way to do this is to determine the high traffic areas in your home the reason being that when you're walking around as soon as your eye catches a rememberable photo it will automatically transport you to that happy memory who doesn't like looking at happy memories from past holidays weddings past family members now the reason i'm saying high traffic areas is obviously use them areas the most so your hallway walking in and out of your bedroom living room dining rooms these are usually the most high traffic areas why not jump on the computer look through your photo albums and get printing some happy memories Number seven is art. Now this is a very subjective tip and it changes from person to person. Some people might love abstract art while others like landscape paintings and photography. Now for me I prefer the landscape painting. I love anything to do with the sea, the coastal areas and the ocean which also explains my favourite colour which is any shade of blue. I would strongly recommend just jumping onto say Wayfair looking through all their artwork and just see what sparks happiness within you when you look at the artwork. It will probably take you a little while to figure this out, it's not going to come to you straight away. For a quick art tip, I guess, you could always print off your favourite quote, poem or song verse, print it out and stick it into a frame and you've got your favourite piece of artwork right there. Number eight is music. Now I think this one is quite underrated when it comes to calming and relaxing atmospheres. If we want to go to the gym or go for a run or be motivated, we tend to put on house music, R&B, anything with a good beat because it's uplifting. Now it's the same for relaxation and calming. If you want to feel more relaxed, you're not exactly going to put on Ministry of Sound for instance or house music. It's not going to work. Whereas if you was to put on soundscapes or instrumental jazz music it's a lot more slower it's a lot more calming so i don't know if you can hear it in the background but i have spotify's nature soundscape playlist on and it's brilliant for just a little bit of background music tip number nine is scent the same as music i think some people are becoming more aware of this but maybe not as much in the form that i'm going to explain a lot of hotels now when you walk in there they have this amazing smell about them and they're all having their signature scent pretty much the same if you was to walk into a hollister store they have their signature smell same as victoria's secret they all have their signature smell what i am suggesting is possibly invest in an oil diffuser or an electric diffuser I have an electric diffuser and they come with a range of different oils and you literally just put in a few drops, plug it in and press go and it fills up the whole house with these wonderful smells. If you want an uplifting scent within your house then you can have something like orange and lemongrass which is quite awakening and empowering. Then again if you want something more relaxing it's usually the lavender or rosemary which has a more calming scent to it and it's brilliant at night time if you're having a hot bath. Put in a few drops of lavender oil and it's just beautiful. The same with room sprays, they are also a great way to implement scent into your home. Tip number 10 is candles. Now I feel like this is the main tip that people already know about and this is how people get their scent within their home. The main thing I would say about candles is to try and just pick one scent per candle. Now it doesn't mean you have to have just one scented candle, you can have the same scent candle throughout the house. Whereas if you was to have lots of different scented candles, it can become a bit overpowering. Moving from room to room, it would be a different smell. Your nose just won't know what's going on. So for that reason, just try and pick one scented candle and then the other candles in your home, try and get unscented pillar candles. You can put these in nice little arrangements with the scented candles to add in different heights. And then like any normal candle, light them for a really nice soft glow and it will create a lovely atmosphere during the evening. Tip number 11 is books. Now I feel that this is becoming more and more popular to have display books on your coffee table but I don't really think people use them in a calm and relaxing way. If you are putting display books on your coffee tables I would strongly recommend to try picking books that you would actually pick up and read if you was to have five minutes spare. So when you do have five ten minutes spare and you're not quite sure what to do or you're feeling a bit stressed you can just pick up one of the coffee table books, sit on the sofa with a cup of tea and just take five minutes out. 
just five minutes out of time just for you. If you can't do that, having the books on a table that you're at least interested in or make good visual content, if you open it up on your favourite page, it will act like the memorable photos. So say for instance you had a photography book and it happened to be on a landscape page. Every time I would sit down on the sofa or walk past a coffee table, I would see that landscape page and it would just fill me with a calmness inside. That's the reason why I recommend having books that you can at least relate to on your coffee table rather than something that just purely looks good visually. It may take a bit of work, but you can get books that work with your colour scheme and relate to you as well. So the last and final tip is a no screen room. Now I know this one might be quite hard for everyone. Most of our rooms have at least a TV and let alone mobile phones, iPads, tablets. I'm not suggesting that you go out for your TV from your bedroom. Let's not jump to that scenario. So if I explain my evening routine, it will probably help you understand a bit more what I'm trying to accomplish with this tip. So usually in an evening, I have a nice bubble bath. I put in some bath salts and some lavender oil, which comes back to the scent for relaxation and calmness. I then light some candles. I put on some soundscapes of some nature music or instrumental jazz and then once I'm out of the bath, I set my alarms for the next day, put my phone on charge, put it on silent and turn it over. And that's it, it's done out the way for the rest of the evening. I then pick up my book and I read for at least an hour before I eventually go to sleep. This allows our brains to just calm down and reflect on what, anything that's gone on during the day and it just calms us down and brings our heartbeat down ready for sleep. It's a brilliant way to kind of end the day especially if you've had a very stressful day now i know it doesn't necessarily have to be at bedtime i know a lot of you have children so even if you can get 10 minutes a day where you're not on your phone ipad or tv and literally just spend the 10 minutes reading a book if you can yoga exercise going for a walk on your daily walk painting doing an activity with the kids literally anything that just takes you away from the screen I have personally benefited from doing this, so I'm sure it will help you too if you can just implement it into part of your day. That's it, that's my 12 tips to be able to create a more relaxed, calming environment in your home. I hope you found it useful, and if you have any topics that you wish me to speak about on my next vlog, or upcoming vlogs, please put down in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe so you get a notification when my next video is up. Talking of the next video, I'm trying to add some humour into this. And this is also something that you will be able to do with your children as well. So everyone's gone out and panic bought toilet paper. So I thought it would be a brilliant idea of how we could possibly use the empty toilet roll cardboard inserts. I'm not actually sure what the technical term is for these. So yeah, my next vlog will be how to make decor items out of these. So if you try and keep and stock up on these as many as possible, I'm not quite sure how many we need yet, I haven't decided what I'm making, we'll be able to turn these into something beautiful for your home. So hopefully I will speak to all of you soon. Bye!